The 2024 Range Rover Sport SV is already sold out. Invitation-only customers quickly gobbled up the roughly 600 Edition 1 versions of the high-performance SUV offered for the first model year. Deliveries are underway now. Customers are already waiting as long as a year for the regular Range Rover Sport, so future owners of the low-volume SV variants following this Edition 1 can expect to wait at least that long for their shot at one. The reality is people can wait as long as 18 months for Range Rovers in general. And if you want the latest, hottest niche version, the high-performance Range Rover Sport SV, you're looking at signing up for a 2025 model when order banks open up later this year. While you are waiting, we can tell you what you can expect if you decide to join the queue for a luxury SUV designed to offer comfort and refinement in everyday driving. The off-road chops you expect from Land Rover and the track performance of a vehicle with a 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8 pumping out 626 horsepower and 553 lb-ft of torque. The new Range Rover Sport SV makes 51 horsepower and 38 lb-ft of torque more than the previous generation Sport SVR with its supercharged 5.0-liter V8. The new SV becomes the most powerful Range Rover to date. We travelled to Portugal to get behind the wheel of some European spec 2024 Range Rover Sport SV Edition 1s. Yes, the limited edition ones you can no longer buy. The SV is based on the third generation Range Rover Sport, which launched for the 2022 model year. The SUV was given to the SVO, Special Vehicle Operations Team, to adorn it with more power and the latest tech. The challenge, the SV needed to keep the core characteristics of the Range Rover Sport. It must offer a pampered experience with on-road manners and its off-road prowess must remain intact and it must also be a track monster, says director of SVO Jamal Hamidi. The SV is a testbed for innovation and new tech. It was in the works for five years, a long and intense time, but necessary because a lot of the technology still had to be invented, Hamidi says. The Sport rides on the new MLA Flex platform that is used by the larger Range Rover as well and will underpin all future models in the Range Rover family that still have an internal combustion engine. The platform provides more baked-in torsional stiffness for engineers to work with. It was a good foundation for the SVO team. A good track car starts with the chassis and brakes to control a large vehicle safely at high speeds on a challenging course. The SV has carbon ceramic brakes, a first for a Range Rover. They provide great bite without being overly harsh, and the pedal feel is more like that found in a sports car than in an SUV. The calipers even look different. Their design started with a meeting with Brembo and a discussion about the increasing size of brakes and friction rings. Brembo had the idea to pull the pistons inboard for a more efficient design. The Sport SV rides on 23-inch carbon fibre wheels. Hamidi says this is the fourth carbon wheel programme he has done. He could not sign off until they could perform on the track as well as off-road. The vehicles launch with all-season tyres standard and the rear tyres are wider than those up front for enhanced grip. By year's end, there will be optional Michelin Pilot, Sport S5 summer tyres available from the factory. The difference? The prior generation vehicle needed a new set of tyres after two laps of the Nürburgring. The new car can last eight laps, a testament to the tyres and the how, the car better manages the contact patches.